Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to make a server side data table in Laravel using Metronic theme. As you know, data tables are a powerful tool for presenting and managing large amounts of data in a user friendly way. Here, as you can see, data tables they are very popular and everybody is using them. So, you can check the documentation and the demo over here on this. Uh, on their website so this is what we will be building uh, on server side this means that the data there the data will be fetched from the server side as needed rather than being loaded all at once to get started we will need to set up our Laravel project so I have already set up my Laravel project and I have already installed my uh, Metronic theme over here as you can see this is the latest version uh, latest version of Metronic theme you can find it over here you can go to keenthings.com click on Metronic view Metronic the latest version they have is Metronic 8 which is based on bootstrap 5 and latest they have many variations of them you can find it over here so so now the this is the data that we will be fetching from uh, the server side so the first thing that we will do is to create a controller so let's not make a controller let's use the same controller as you can see over here I have used it controllers customer controller so this is our controller customer controller uh, on the first section we have used this return view and for this we have defined a web route over here as you can see customer this is the web route this is point to this function index it returns the view which is over here so here is the view that you can see over here so the next thing uh, we can do is uh, next thing we can do is uh, define Either you can define your JavaScript in a separate file or you can define your JavaScript uh, over here. So what this does, this push script, you have to define this in your app.play.php. Come to the end and this add stack scripts, all your scripts in all your pages which you include. So they will be pushed to over there at the end of the uh, at the end of this file uh, at the end of this file. So I have used uh, a custom file to use my JavaScript over there. So this this is not uh, a new thing. This whole code has been available on keenteams.com Metronic. Uh, you can check it over here. They have the dog documentation available. Uh, as you can see over here, you can come to the data tables, uh, which is over here and you can see HX server side I have used this data table they have got this filters and uh, how you can filter the data but this is for the demo purpose you can delete these and this is also for the demo purpose so uh, what I'm using this is a customer uh, this is a table ID that I have used over here this is the table that I uh, that is using that ID. So we say that the search delay will be 500 milliseconds. Um, so processing to server side through order. This means that uh, for the first time when the data is loaded, our data will be loaded on the item that is based on the index number five and will be in on descending order. So this is one two three four five based on user dot name you can change it to whatever you want you can change it to this id customer so here as you can see we have the ajax base i am sending this request this base url uh, you will be warning where it is defined it is defined over here go to the top and here i have defined my environment app url so here is another route uh, that is over here so to this we can get the data you can go to the customer here is my uh, code so you will be also requesting uh, you will be also using the search functionality for this which is this 
So let's say I am searching for Paul model widget. You can search, you can enter. I, I have disabled the default searching as you type on key type. The default searching is uh, disabled. So what I've used is when you type the name and click enter, it will then uh, search the, uh, it will then send the request to the server. So that is being defined over here. Uh, let me show you the code. As you uh, enter on the, as you press enter, it will send the uh, request. So now what I'm doing over here uh, is, you know, grabbing all those customers and I'm also getting the username who created this uh, customer. I'm joining with the users table. Uh, so they're pretty, pretty much similar. So, and this is for like multi system. You can use like uh, business ID for a company or for a, a branch or whatever you use for that. Next, so I'm using this when function. So by default, this, this function won't run. So when I do the search and there comes the, the search is not empty and it does contain a value, then this closure will be run, which is customer or customer name like I use on the customer. You can use multi, you can search on the customer cell or customer email or whatever you want. So the next thing I use this Laravel data table. This is basically a, a Laravel package, which is, uh, let me see. Open my composer dot JSON file. So I have used this uh, Yabra uh, Laravel data table uh, Oracle. So you can search for on the Google over here. They have got a pretty good documentation, and I've used this package for my data tables. So here I have just imported this data table, which should be over here in the facade. I've used the facade and I passed this whole uh, query closures to this data table. Then I have used the extra column for my action. So what you can do is you can also use, uh, as you can see, I have this action, this one, this uh, code you can also define uh, over here in the column definition you can uh, define it over here or you can send it from the controller so if you want to send it from the controller you will have to use it over here and this is the pure HTML that I have used you can see this uh, drop down this all this contain this is rendered over here and then raw columns which I have used this is only this one raw column extra column so this is a raw column action so it will return the data next thing is you have to define the uh, customers uh, the columns so what i'm using uh, over here is these four five columns these are basically the names of the columns in my data, uh, database and i've used this uh, on on my zero index is basically the check boxes so i haven't used the delete option for now but uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll be back to this later on and uh, i have disabled the column definition which is minus one which is basically this action column over here so i have disabled this minus one that are null orderable is false we cannot um, uh, order so use the order functionality on that because this this doesn't make sense you it won't uh, order your data so we'll be uh, so it will only order the data based on all of these columns you can see it can order it on any column you can also disable that as well so you just define what over here minus one and let's say this is the zero this is one this is two three you can disable them as well and it just renders the data over here and displays it to you so this is pretty very fast you see it is very fast and you, uh, uh, it is very uh, beneficial uh, in that purpose when you have large amount of data. So you just only show, uh, you just
just grab only the uh, the latest customers or latest latest records from the database which should be by default 10 records that are available I recommend you can change that as well and uh, that's it so thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel so i can be motivated and make more videos do let me know in the comment section what kind of videos will uh, will you want me to make uh, based on laravel and metronic theme thank you and have a good day